this video and hundreds more like it available on free Photoshop video tutorials.com. In this video we're going to learn about how to create photo cutouts which is a way of cutting parts of your image out so that it seems that there are some elements that are popping out of the image and as an example I'm going to use this image here and what I want to do and I'll just illustrate here for you just by making a selection is I want to make it so that the photo itself is roughly around here this much and I'm gonna have the this guy's legs here be popping out of the image and delete all the other bits around here so it seems like the legs are just coming out of the photo when the photo is essentially just the selection here and uh, the way that we do this is uh, we bring up our layers palette here we what we need to do here is actually just select the portion that we want to be popping out of the image right uh, out of the photo that we're gonna create so what we need to do is just select um, a certain part of the image that's going to be popping out. Uh, there's numerous ways of selecting. Uh, the easiest way, of course, is with the quick selection tool if you're using uh, uh, the up-to-date version of Photoshop CS. Uh, if not, you can use something like the uh, Magnetic Lasso tool or perhaps even the Magic Wand tool, depending on what image you're working with. But if you're working with one of the latest versions of Photoshop, all you have to do is just click and drag, basically. And we're going to uh, click and drag here and uh, edit our selection here so we're just selecting just the guy here and perhaps some of the arm here so you don't have to select the whole thing it's just the parts that are actually going to be popping out and I think roughly around here this leg here and the part of this leg here so this is good even though we didn't select them entirely this is enough now what we can do is uh, all we need to do is just duplicate that layer so we can use the shortcut of control and J and uh, as you can see, if I remove the view of the background, we have here a copy of, you know, the guy's legs here popping out. So that's as much as what we want right there. And now what we want to do is uh, go ahead and double click on the background layer here to just transform it into a regular layer, right? We're going to create another layer and drag that to the bottom and fill it with white. So I'm just doing alt and backspace as a shortcut to fill in with white if my foreground here color is white, right? Remember you can press X to switch between black and white. If you're not on black and white, press D for dog to uh, switch to the default colors, which is black and white. So there we are. So with the white being a foreground color, alt and backspace, and we have a white layer here at the bottom, which was gonna serve uh, as the, uh, the something underneath that photo because we're gonna be cutting out that photo now. And as you can imagine, as we do uh, very often, Often, we use the uh, layer mask option to cut things out, right? It's better than deleting things straight off. So we're going to add the layer mask. And now we're going to make our selection as I did before. So uh, you can make the selection and uh, add to the selection or, you know, change it uh, as, as you go along or just reselect. If you're not happy with the selection you make straight away. Um, I'm pretty happy with this. I think this is going to be a good amount of the photo here. So once we've selected that, we need to inverse that selection. Right, because we want to delete things that are outside of that selection there. So I go to select and inverse right there. And then we just fill that in with black. And uh, it, how we do this is with control and backspace, again with the back here, the black being the background color, right? So control and backspace will do that for us. I'll deselect and as you can see we have our image here and the white that's showing through is the white of the um, bottom layer here. So there we are, we have our photo popping out and as a sort of like an added uh, bonus here to, to make this look a little bit better uh, what we can do here is just add some uh, layer effects so I'm gonna add a layer style here I'm gonna go into um, uh, stroke here I'm going to add a stroke to to the to the image I'm gonna add a 10 pixel stroke I'm going to set that position to inside so it's going to be doing it inside there. And I'm actually going to set this stroke here to white. Now, I'll show you to you, to you right now why it is that I'm doing white. Because at the moment, with white, all I've done is just taken out 10 pixels here of the image, right? Now, if we combine this with the drop shadow, then as you can see, it seems like our photo here is popping out of the, uh, of the page that is underneath it. I'm just going to change the parameters for the drop shadow here. I like the uh, angles being at around... Uh, 120, 130, so therefore, so something like that. And um, we're going to set the opacity here. I'm just going to move things about so you can see what others I'm doing. Um, I'm going to set the opacity to something a little bit lower. 
and I'm going to increase the size here from 5, which is the default, just so that we get a bit of the shadow coming through here. So that ought to be enough right there. I'm actually going to increase the opacity just a bit more, just a tad. There we are. Okay, I'm pretty satisfied with that. We can click OK. And as with uh, anything that we do here with the uh, layer styles, we can always double click on the FX here and uh, change things if you don't like it, right? So it's not a, a one off. So there we are. We have our image with the, uh, with the guy's legs here popping out. And if we wanted to recenter this, all we need to do is make sure that we have. Of course, we have here his legs, and uh, we select the two layers here, and then we're free to move that about. So I'm just going to center here, and there we are. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website, and we'll create even more videos that interest you.